Hey YouTube, it's an update on a, a new coil gun design. It's similar to my original one, only my original one, even though it is 1,320 volts, it's only 30 microfarad, because if you know something about capacitors and like electricity and current and shit like that, when you wire it, when they're wired up in series, it only, you have to divide uh, by half or whatever um, by how many capacitors there are. Like, there's four 120 UF capacitors, microfarad capacitors, and when they're in series, they have, the voltage goes up, but the capacitance, the current, goes down. And I'm, I'm not really going to explain why, you can just go look it up and it's not hard to find on the internet, but yeah, my coil gun that I'm currently using only has 30 microfarad, but 1,320 volts. And here's a way to solve that problem. Now, you don't have to have just two in each little thing, like, but this this is already eight capacitors, so that pr pretty much be like space consuming and cost consuming unless you can get a shit ton of these for free or whatever. I heard that you can go ask like photo departments of places for their old disposable cameras and they'll give them to you. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I think I'm going to do that because I'd like to build another coil gun. But have four little banks where they're in parallel and then use the same setup. Like they'll all charge in parallel and these switches in the middle are thrown. Now it's the same amount of switches as in my um, 1320 volt design. It's the same amount of switches. The only difference is that it has four more capacitors in it. So when this charges in parallel, when it's in parallel it's 330 volts at 960 microfarad. And then when they're connected in series, it's 1,320 volts at 240 microfarad. Now, still not much of an increase from what the capacitor's original uh, capacitance is, which is 120, but it's better than 30. So, by this design, there is a significant increase when wired in series. 240, 30, yeah, big difference. But, <clears throat> basically, what you do is just have these wired in parallel, and then you have the parallel switches for charging in parallel, and they, and uh, these middle switches for wiring series, they remain off while these switches are on. And again, you can use the dual switches, cut these all on at the same time like I did, so that way you can minimize all six of these switches down to three, and then. <clears throat> also, uh, but yeah, and then when you go to charge it, or when you go to fire it, you turn all the parallel switches off, and you flip these three switches, and then in turn it connects it into series. So, here's the negative going to the coil, positive of the bank to the negative of this bank, positive of this bank to negative of this bank, positive of this bank to the negative of this bank, and the positive out to the coil. And, uh, there's a charging circuit, and you also want to have some switches on here too. And uh, another thing that I learned about um, eddy current and inductance after the shot is fired, <coughs> the collapsing magnetic field feeds back into the coil because as the magnetic field goes out into the air, as soon as the energy stops flowing through the coil, the magnetic field collapses and uh, goes back through the coil in reverse, charging the capacitors in reverse, so it's also good to place a diode, one of high voltage. The one I'm using, um, I don't really remember what it is, but it can support a pretty good amount of voltage. And then, if you want to have that wired up, and uh, it looks like this, and they're usually black, and have a silver band at the bottom, which is negative on the diode. And uh, there's your trigger switch. But this design, 
will give you more capacitance, you know, more current. So you'll have better projectile velocities. And uh, <clears throat> this is what I'm going to try to make next. I would really like to try to have more capacitors in these little parallel banks. But yeah, this is a way to give it more current. And I was actually testing uh, with a 25 volt 1000 microfarad capacitor, and it actually did pretty well with a shit ton of capacitance. I mean, it did about as it did about as well as um on it when I, my first very first coil gun, where I was just charging in parallel and shooting in parallel. But then I came up with this, and this is a lot more efficient. Well, I didn't really come up with it. I kind of got the idea from somebody else. But they used uh, resistors on the parallel line. And they used SCR silicone control rectifiers for the uh, switches. And they also used a, a, an SCR for the trigger. But I didn't want to use electronic components for the switches because they're prone to failure. <coughs> so it's like with manual switches. They can get zapped all they want. They might stick a little bit, but you can still throw it with your hands. You know, you can still throw the switch on or off. SCR, it blows out, it blows out. But, yep, that's the design.